Today we want to review the Barista Express machine from Breville. So the new model is a Touch. We want to review this one since we have this machine for now uh, two years. And I used this one for the last two years to brew espresso. Uh, I just want to go to create one latte art with this one so we can review what, how it's working. Then I'm gonna give the pros and cons of the device. So the, the device has its own uh, grinder. So that's the beauty of the device because you don't need to have enough uh, extra space for keeping your grinder. And also it's included in the price of the device, which is nice and this price range. So you, by pushing the device, you can grind the coffee. Okay, so you can change the uh, size of the grinding and amount of grinding in two different controllers on the device. This one is amount and this one is the size of grinding. So if you see the result of the brewing is different, you can use the amount and size of the grinding to adjust the way that you want the device work. So after you uh, finish the grinding, you can just uh, level the coffee and tap the coffee, basically, you're tabbing, pushing, and making a circle. And remove one more time to getting the even surface on your uh, basket. You can use the razor to make sure you have enough coffee and just clean the basket and put on the device and since I want one shot and I have a one shot basket, I can push the one shot button. So I'm gonna get the boot. The only thing you need to check and make sure is that when you start brewing, your bar is on the gray side. So you can see this is my coffee. I didn't want to brew too much. And now we are going to uh, frosting process so you can just turn on the steamer so you can make sure there's nothing like milk milk from last time you use is on the pipe so I'm gonna use this one. So this is one of the cons of the device. It takes a long time to make steam ready. So after you make the steam ready, you can put on the milk. So when you put the milk, you just need to make sure your milk is making a whirlpool movement. And we are frosting as, as long as we can see that microphone texture on the milk and we can feel the temperature with our hand. So the new model, uh, it has a control that it's making this part of the frosting automatic so you don't need to do this. Which is probably make it much, much easier. You don't need to practice this process and also you're gonna get the always the uh, same quality frost and you're not gonna have any error on your result. Because when I'm using the frosting machine, uh, like it's like 50-50, sometimes I can make a lot of art because I have a nice fro fo uh, foam, sometimes I cannot. It depends on the quality of the frost. No. After the noise is done, I can just bring the uh, device out so make sure it's clean. So I didn't use the Breville pitch, this one, because the head is not good for making a lot of art, so I use this one. <clears throat> I'm gonna make a whirlpool action on the coffee and also milk so I can make sure it has an even frost. 
And since my cup is small, I'm gonna use I'm use the other pinch to keep enough milk that I can use to fill this cup. So after I do that, I'm gonna use it like this. I'm gonna make a couple of turn and as you can see. So it's not easy to make a lot out. I'm still practicing it, but you can see not always you're gonna get the best result. And next, we're gonna discuss about cons and pros of this device. I can compare this one with Oracle Touch, Oracle, Brista Touch, and Brista. These three devices are almost comparable. I don't want to go through and compare with other devices like ECM or JTAL, which is full professional uh, automatic device. Um, the thing I don't like about this device, it's a single boiler and that means you cannot brew and make milk frosting at the same time. And also frosting is, takes a long time. So sometimes your coffee is ready for brewing, but since the device is not ready for steam, you don't have steam ready for frosting the milk, you need to wait so your coffee is going to be cold. So it's, 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 it's not a good uh, uh, experience. Um, the other thing I don't like, it's a basket. So sometimes basket is stuck on the head. So like I remove the basket is going to stay on inside the device and I have a handle out and after a couple of seconds it's falling and it's making a splash everywhere, make a mess. So that's the thing I don't like. Absolutely. I don't like about this device. The second one is the speed of the steam. And also after I frost the milk, you can see this milk here. If you see, like on other devices, at least as much as I can see, I didn't, I'm not a pro professional barista and I, uh, I didn't have experience of working with other devices, but I see on the YouTube that people like making like this clean, but this one is not clean that easy. You need to make your towel too wet and you need to use different products to clean it. So it's not easy to clean, especially because of this, uh, uh, design and the uh, device you usually the milk is collect here and it's make a mess you need to make it clean later okay that's uh overall our experience of working with brista do i recommend it for this price point uh it's give you the nice coffee and you can use it to making a lots of different variety of the coffee uh, beverages but if you have more money and you can spend on um, better devices, definitely Oracle Touch is my favorite. And we're going to discuss and we're going to review those hopefully next. Thank you for watching. See you soon.